Welcome everyone. We are so excited to have one of our fabulous clients with us today, Susan Cox, who is the founder of Fiercely 50-ish. Susan is a confidence coach and the style goddess for women over 50. So Susan, we are so excited to have you join us and to kind of share your journey that you've gone through so far. You haven't been with us for very long, but you've already made some amazing strides. And we kind of want to highlight those today and also let people understand who you are and the kind of thing that you are bringing out to the world because it's so <laughs> very needed. Thank you. Thank you both. Yeah, I, as you've said, I'm, I'm, the confidence, I'm a confidence creator and the founder of Fiercely 50-ish where I help women 50 and as I say, no longer breathing, get visible with their style and their confidence because you can't have one without the other. And it's, uh, I, it, nothing makes me happier than to work with midlife women to find all of that in, for them. And because it not only spills over into their style, it spills over into their, to their life and later is definitely greater. And it's my honor to be able to do that for them. Fantastic. Now, Susan, so you, as Carmen said, you know, we, Kind of just got started. You're inside of the Encore Business Incubator, which is our one on one coaching program, and it lasts for nine months. And mm -hmm. what we wanted to do here on this episode is to show like where you were when you started and then the progress that you've made so far. So we're gonna we're gonna do a throwback to like one of the first coaching sessions that we had to see, you know, where you were at and where your thoughts were at the time. All right, so before we start, let's start on some wins. Let's talk about that for a minute. So um, I know you've shared a lot of, with us in the in Messenger, but like, what are you most excited about? Um, that you guys, I, I feel like it's going to start coming together. I, I feel like there's a, I'm going to talk about the bad, even though it's part of the positive, is that like, I feel like a fish out of water again, like, oh gosh, you know, like, but that's good because you should be scared because you don't, you're going to learn something. So that's the first step. So that's the good, that's the good part about it because I, what you guys have done in a week and a half or two weeks to help me has just been amazing. So that's been really good. Um, and then I'm thinking more strategically mm -hmm. about everything should be connected to making that sale. Yes. And, but without being smarmy, but you know, every yeah. it's, it's intentional. So that has got me thinking too about just everything about how I'm organizing my content for social media, that the weekly, you know, themes, mm -hmm. I need that. Yeah. So that's, that's been really, really good. Awesome. I, you know, it's, it, what it's all about is connecting the dots for people. Um, and it's because of this fact that people can't focus and they don't focus on social media, you know, they're cons, they're just all over the place. And so we have to lay it all out for them and take them on this journey because we just have to help them get out of their own way and to be able to focus on what's, what's really going on and where do I need to go. And so that's really how the whole, the whole system works is to, you know, get their attention, keep their attention, let them get to know you so that they can realize, you know, yeah, I, this is a problem I have and I need some help with it. And this is the person to do it. So do you remember back then when you were first starting and how that felt? Yes, I do. <laughs> Barely, but yes, I do. It's funny to listen to it because in such a short period of time, I'm, I don't feel that way anymore. Which is so awesome. You have just really taken grasp of all of the concepts and run with them and made them your own. And that's one reason why we're so excited to, to feature you today because you know, coaching is not something that people can get anything out of unless they're going to put the work in. And you are just an exemplary student, Susan. <laughs> well, thank you. And I couldn't, like, wouldn't have happened without you too, so. And, and really quick, Susan, like, what's the short version of, like, up to that point, you know, how much time had you spent and what were the things you, that you were doing in your business? Because it's, you didn't just start a couple, you know, Right no. when you started with us, you've been working yeah. on it for a while. So yeah, um, um, I had just created, done, gotten done, finished up my first session with uh, of my course. So I had just come off creating that. I guess launch is a is a stretch, and really had no direction on strategy or you know the the uh, focus on 
really a launch. I think that's how I became wanting to work with you too, because you were so kind enough to do a, a free at no charge debrief on my, um, you were very polite, but I'll just say a pathetic launch. So I was really kind of directionless as far as a marketing strategy and wasn't looking forward to doing the the uh, next session with the, the same way I had just done it. So, Well, and the <laughs> first one, it, I mean, you did it. So the good thing is you've always been in action. You have a sizable Facebook group. You've always been yes. nurturing them. You were a speaker at our summit in 2021. And so that's how we got to know you. And so we knew that you had the chops, Susan. We knew it and we wanted to. We wanted to help where we were so delighted when you decided to work with us because we knew that we could we could do something great and it's proving to be that. So I'm going to play one more a clip here that's kind of this talks about this is right before the launch of your workshop, your revised workshop. Uh oh. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I, um, stuff is coming together. I know. I I watched. I rewatched your last um, call with Deidre, and it looked great. So, um, what I know your focus today? You want to talk about a few things? Tell me what's most top of mind for you. Uh, the la 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 launch. <laughs> <laughs> You're not nervous about it, are you? I'm not nervous. I'm just apprehensive. I'm excited about it, but I yeah. just because I've not done this type before. Yeah. I'm, um, you know, when you haven't done something before, it's like driving with your left nostril. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think what you're going to find and what you're going to love is that it's going to be it's going to be so much fun for you because this format is so engaging for everybody and your content is incredible you know i mean everyone needs help with it and you've got it dialed in it's it's just fabulous so what are your so thoughts you, about listening to that um a i'm i'm glad that's over <laughs> and um b just thinking what was it two months between those two calls yeah maybe it. not not even to yeah. to not even know how i was going to put it all together and really kind of still struggling with the concept to then having a pretty kick butt launch put content. So yeah, it feels good. It shows a lot of progress for, because of you too. It was definitely a kick butt launch. And, and, you know, one of the ways that we work with our clients, and I just want kind of want to point that out. I had mentioned in that clip that I played that I had just listened to the coaching session with Susan and Deidre. So Deirdre and I, we coach one-on-one -on -one and it's alternating with each of us every other week. So to keep up, Deirdre and I are always listening in on the past coaching session. So we're always up to date with what's going on with our clients. And how has that always, been for you? Always. <laughs> always. No, I mean, it's amazing. It's it's double the, you know, the expertise. It's double the fun. I, I love the collaboration because each of you bring a different perspective to it and you have a unique way of figuring things out, but you they come together and it's wonderful. Yeah. And I want to talk about this, um, this launch method that we're talking about, you know, cause Susan, you had done workshops in the past. And so the way that we, um, you know, outlined, the launch for you launching your new workshop. Like there was, there was a lot more to it. A lot of people think, oh, it's just, you know, you just have to do this one thing and it's going to work. <laughs> but I'm sure, you know, it's, it's so many pieces, right? You have to get all the different pieces, right? It really requires an entire strategy around what is the workshop and how does it lead into your program? And then we have the entire nurture piece. You know, it seems like, okay, Susan's got this big Facebook group. So, you know, we should have hundreds of people, right? But it doesn't just magically happen. And so there's a whole strategy there because like I, if in that first clip I said, you know, we have to get people's attention. We have to keep their attention. And then we have to give them, we have to, have their aha moment. They need to have that aha moment. And so that's really what this whole launch and workshop strategy that we've put together does. It does it all in one shot. 
So what were some of the differences or how did it feel differently, Susan, between the first workshop that you did and then this last one that you did? Well, you're kind to say that my first was a workshop because I wouldn't have categorized it as that. (laughs) Oh my gosh, you can't even compare. I think that one of the words that keep com- that keeps coming up in the coaching now then and even now is the authenticity that was what was missing and you all were able to channel that out of me and and so that I could create something in that you know and then once I got that it wasn't hard it was just you know slotting it and figuring out how, which day and how would that align with that lesson but once that aha moment came of like okay I do have something to do, you know, to share with these women. And, you know, it just, it just started to flow and it was, I can't wait for the next one. That's so exciting. We can't wait for the next one either, because the great thing is once you do it and it, and you were just, um, you know, roll up your sleeves, get to work and go from the minute we started till the minute you ran your workshop and now you've done it. And it is amazing to see all the work you put in and how fabulous the results were for the women who attended your workshop. I mean, let's talk about that for a minute because you were able to really craft this workshop in a way that you provide a safe space for women to be able to unburden themselves of this kind of emotional baggage that they've been carrying with them their entire lives. So talk to Mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Talk to us about, we haven't mentioned the name of your Facebook group either. I'd love for people to join your group, but then talk to us about your, why this is so important to you because you nailed it. And and I know our, the listeners will love to hear about it. Um, well, thank you. My group is Midlife Women Living Fiercely 50-ish. And where do I start? Um, my goodness, like by the second day of the workshop, people were sending me DMs and emails saying that, and I don't want to get emotional on the podcast here, but that it was life-changing for them. And they had never dealt with some of these emotions. And what they were talking about is, is that as a confidence creator in the launch of the first session of my course back in October of 2021, one of the things that kept getting in the way with them, with the students progressing, I mean, they had this emotional block. And I was struck by that because, you know, sometimes when you're in it, you forget that your students aren't where you are and so that was the the catalyst for this workshop to start um unraveling these limiting beliefs that even in midlife we still have I mean do you remember the woman in the I think it was the second day that was upset with her outfits she changed how she was dressing because one of her friends a couple months ago had told her that they didn't like her she shouldn't be wearing certain outfits I about exploded on the workshop, but I couldn't. But just so that, you know, just because you're over 50 doesn't mean you don't have any feelings and you have it all together. So that was really telling to them. And then that second day with the green light behaviors, um, the the workshop was called Love Your Reflection. And um, I talk a lot about, because it's still in 50s and 60s and 70s, women have body image problems, body image and, you know, it's no different than the seventh grade lunch table because people are mean about it. And so that was a huge, huge deal. And then I think from there that you talk about the safe space that women were not afraid to kind of get in touch with their feelings, something they haven't done in a long time. And that really started the positive momentum of the workshop. Yeah, that's fantastic. And here's the here's the best part of this whole entire experience, Susan, is that this is just the beginning, right? Like you're going to run this workshop again and again and again. And not only is that great for all of you listening here, if any of this resonates with you, then definitely go check out Susan's group and get we'll put contact information so you can check that out. But also You know, if you are a business owner and you are thinking about doing a launch or some kind of conversion event where you're trying to get, you know, a group of people together because you've got something really valuable to offer, but it's really tough these days on social media trying to get in front of people and to really get them that result that you know you can give them. This workshop, it may have been a lot of work in the beginning to put together the strategy and get it all together, but now it's a rinse and repeat process. 
because you run it again and again. And this is the model that Carmen and I came up with. And we've been doing this for a year and a half now. And we found that it's so valuable and we're always getting new people to come in. So we're always getting new prospects, new leads, and we're keeping our, you know, leads that we have that maybe they're not, you know, they might be a client of ours, but they're just not quite ready. It keeps everybody warm and engaged. And, Mm -hmm. you know, we keep giving value to them through this workshop over and over again. So I think that is the greatest part of all this. And so that's your big accomplishment, Susan. You have just created a major, major asset for your business. And you're going to see that return on investment over and over again. And then you just get to run it and, you know, tweak a little bit as you go, as you're gaining these insights. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, I think I told you that. And I'm like, wait, I think my workshop is better than my course. (laughs) But... But the point is, is that for what I do, it's so emotional for, and it's almost a non, it's a non-tangible. Mm-hmm. So it, I had to have something in there that was going to get them, the call to action was them getting in touch with their emotions that maybe they hadn't dealt with in a long time. So, and then you all taught me too, that, you know, it should be emotional if you want people to to trust you, you know, the no like trust factor, but it was even more than that. And then the course, well, then the, that makes them ready because that was the block. So the course, you know, because I was a little freaked out. <laughs> I hope no one's disappointed after the workshop. There's not going to be, any, I don't think there's going to be any tears. I don't have those in any lessons for my course, but that they are open and they can receive what I'm, I'm going to, what I teach. Definitely. Yeah. We help our clients figure that out, like how to pull out the pieces that lead to that, that win, that impactful win that makes going to the next step a no brainer. And you, you did that beautifully. So I'm going to, this is the one last clip. It's a short one. This is how you felt. This was, we, you and I talked the day three, I believe of your, of your workshop. So here's what you had to say that day. I'm like going to cry. (laughs) <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I yeah, I I'm I'm beyond happy. And Carmen, I can't wait to meet you guys. I'm going to give you the biggest hug. <laughs> so that was. I mean, that's kind of how we felt all this whole way watching you. We could see it coming. We can see the magic. You've been doing the work, and we are just so delighted. And so, so hearing that, what does that make you feel when you listen to that? Um, delighted, happy, can't wait for what's going to happen next. I think I also told you after the debrief, which was, I don't remember, after the workshop last week and um, days kind of meld, don't they? And that <laughs> I, I still feel this way that I'm on the precipice of greatness. Yeah. Yeah. Because now it, that, and in, in, I can't, for those of you that are listening to this or seeing this on YouTube, the connection that is made between your authenticity and what you have to offer, it, it, it's magic. And these women know what they're doing. So anyone that's not on board, you need to get on board. We appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Well, we just can't wait to see what's to come, Susan, because like you said, it's, you know, you're on the press of this and, you know, you understand this concept. You're giving women confidence in their body image you know, in their Mm -hmm. older years and in their style. And we are doing the same thing. We're confidence creators too. We're confidence creators in your business because once you you really connect those dots and you feel that authenticity and you're doing things that align with your values and feel good to you, then Mm -hmm. it's so fun. And when it's so fun and and um, it just all comes out of you and that's where the struggle stops. And I think that's where entrepreneurs, they they go in the struggle mode and it is because something's out of alignment or they don't have clarity or they just haven't, they don't, they've tried all the things. There's so many different methods and tactics, but when you start with a holistic approach and we, and we make sure everything is in alignment and that it's in alignment with the audience. It's not just about us and our business. It's about the audience. And so we connect everyone together into this one world. And that's when it's a win-win for everyone. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, we, we've we certainly enjoyed this. 
We know this. I mean, you've been with us for what? Three months, maybe <laughs> out of the nine months. Like there is so much more to come. Yeah. It's just... I'm a little afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love to push people outside their comfort zone, but I think you'll agree that once you get outside of your comfort zone, the magic starts happening, right? Oh, yeah. And as you both know, there were days when I thought my head was going to explode and that you could have heard it in Oregon and Pennsylvania. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's good to learn new things. That's right. right. If you rest, you rest. In fact, I have that in my office here. Yeah. yeah. And and we're always and we're always here to support you. That's another big oh. part of it. Is and I'm, because, a lot. I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody feels that way. And and when you don't have, if you're just on your own or you, you know, have a community, but maybe it's just, you know, on Facebook or it's a group. I mean, that's helpful. But really to have that, to know that somebody's got your back mm-hmm. and that they're working with you in your business all the time. And I think that is the, that's the key to all of it, to, to getting the results, you can get the results on your own. You know, you can get them a bunch of different ways, but if you want to get them quickly and you want to get them with a lot less head, head spinning around on your shoulders, then having the coaches by your side and the experts makes all the difference in the world. Absolutely. All right. Well, we can't wait to hear what's going to happen next. We will we will find out what's going to happen next because I bet we'll have you on in another episode down the road and we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll replay this little bit snips of this one and we'll we'll yeah, yeah. We'll talk about your journey and how far it's come then because it's been amazing. That's right. Um Thank so you. and if you have anything to say to anyone out there who maybe is looking for a coach, what would you say to them about possibly working with us? Oh my goodness. Um, yes. Do it, do it because like, the, the duo and the perspectives and you're just, and it's, it's, uh, you both are authentic too. It's not like, well, you gotta go on this and you gotta do this. You filter it down to the simplistic of, I mean, it's not simple. The work is hard. I'm not going to lie about that, but it's doable and it's a guide and it aligns with your brand it aligns with who your demographics are. You find things that you never even considered. My <laughs> onboarding found that out to be true. A, a demographic I was totally ignoring. Uh, just run, don't walk, and sign up with with these two. You're amazing. Awesome. Well, we think you're amazing too. And we hope to hear more in the future. So thank you so much, Susan, for your time today. And we will talk to you on your next coaching call. Thank you. All right.